The NRL SA 2015 season continued over the weekend with Round 7 of the ISC Cup and the Reserve Grade Shield at Mitchell Park and Hanson Reserve. Hi, I'm Thomas Luke and this is the Fresh 92.7 NRL SA Weekly Recap. In the ISC Cup, Eels defeated the Bulldogs 40-0 on Saturday night. Both sides pushed forward, with the Eels getting at the board at the 15th minute mark through halfback Michael Lowry. The Eels continued attacking and scored a further three tries in the first half. An impressive intercept followed by a 50 metre break by Bulldogs Con Condus saw his side nearly score, but unforced errors close to the line saw the Eels lead 22-0. Down at half time, there was little the Bulldogs could do to stop the Eels' energy and pace, with impressive line breaks by Hayden Eichenboom and Fred Williams that saw the final margin of 40 points. Best on ground was Eels' Michael Lowry, who scored two tries and four conversions. Other standout players were Eels' Hayden Eichenboom and Bulldogs' John Vitale. It's round seven of the ISC Cup and the Eels have just defeated the Bulldogs 40 to zero. Um, I'm joined here by Scott Bradshaw and Robert Jeffries. Um, so it was a scoreless 15 minutes, but then became quite one-sided. Rob, what do you think of the game? Um, I thought it was a good game. I thought we all played well. I didn't play that much, but um, we have a good, good leader, a good set of boys. We all train together, so it all comes out together on the field. And um, Scott Bradshaw and Hayden were quite good uh, standout players. Um, Bradshaw, you're here at the moment. What, uh, what do you reckon? Do you think there were any other standouts from that game? Uh, I think well, we're all pretty standout yeah. players. I mean, everyone done their job and that's all you can ask for. We train together and do everything together we're like a little family. So, yeah, oh, it was good to get the win. Yep. All so. right. And um, so you're up against the Roosters next week. This was your fifth win of the season, I believe. And um, how do you think you'll go next week? What are you going to do to prepare? Um, <clears throat> if we played anything like today, I think we, um, we'll be in for a good shot. Yep. We'll give them a good go. And uh, hopefully we get the same result. All right, good luck, guys. Thanks. Right, On Sunday afternoon, Roosters defeated Raiders 42-22 in a highly competitive and physical contest. The Raiders landed the first blow when Dakota Marsh scored after getting on the end of a crafty pass from Sefo Apiktola, who chased down a well-weighted kick. The Roosters quickly returned fire through Scott Dawson, who received a lovely offload from her heaper Jackson. Trailing 18-6 at half-time, the Raiders standouts in Alani Na and Benji Fono did their best to keep the Raiders in the contest, but they were unable to contain the Roosters' potent attack that saw six different try scorers. Roosters winger Adam Fitzgerald was a standout for his team and awarded West End Man of the Match alongside other standouts in Scott Dawson and Tom Royal. It's round seven of the ISC Cup here at Hanson Reserve and the Roosters have just defeated the Raiders 42 points to 22. I'm here with Adam Fitzgerald for the Roosters. Now Prickles, you must be happy with the win? Yeah, yeah, pretty happy. It was a good solid game, uh, good discipline as well. Started lacking at the end there, but no, the boys did well. The Raiders kept taking it up too, they wouldn't go away. Yeah, they weren't stopping and I'll tell you what, they're going to be a good strong team towards the end of the season. What was the key to your win, do you think? Uh, probably teamwork, you know, being there for each other and support. And of course you were one of the standouts, how would you rate your own game? Oh, I would have said there would be better players on the field, I wouldn't think I'd be here, but yeah, happy with that. Who were those better players, do you think? Oh, you know, a couple of the forwards, you know, we had under 18, little Berkey, he stood up today, done really well, so Tomo, Royal, so. Now, your nickname's Prickles, can we ask why, or is it is it appropriate to say on camera? Uh, well, uh, Keep it G-rated. I've had it for a while. Um, other than that, we'll keep it strictly. Yeah, leave it. At okay, that. okay, we'll leave that one. Obviously, you guys are building something special at the Roosters this year. It must be exciting on top of the ladder. Yeah, no, it's good to be here. Uh, I've been with the club for a few years, off and on. Um, yeah, no, I'm keen to finish out the season. Now, what do you think you have to work on uh, coming up against the Eels next week? Uh, discipline and holding on to that ball and just keeping up teamwork. So. All right, thank you very much. No Cheers. Worries. Cheers, mate. In the reserve grade shield, Tigers defeated Eels 24-6. The match got off to a steady start, with neither team scoring for the first 10 minutes. But the Tigers soon found gaps in the Eels defensive line, with a long dash by Darshan and Bourne setting up McLaughlin Jones Sims to score. Down by two tries, the Eels fought back with a clever kickoff that saw a swift offload by front rower Robert Jeffrey put Lachlan Pilkington over the line. Although the Eels presented a strong defence in, in the dying minutes of the first half, unforced errors matched with the Tigers' fast ball movement saw Phil Greener cross the line and extend the Tigers' lead to 18 points at half time. Unfortunately, the game was called off early in the second half due to a serious injury. Best in ground was Tigers' Matt Patu, who scored one try and four conversions. 
Other standout players were Eels' Robert Jeffrey, who pushed his side forward, and Tigers' Danny Black, who scored one try. On Sunday afternoon, Panthers defeated Raiders 72-10 in a dominant performance. With an obvious size advantage in their forward pack and their big men in Reese Keeley, Luke Sunley and Tyson Broughton, the Panthers pounded the Raiders' defence into submission. The Raiders' tireless efforts were awarded late in the first half, when Ashley Saylor crashed over the line for his team's first try. Leading 38-6 at halftime, the Panthers' playmakers in David Brennan and Ezra Bailey worked excellently off the back of their forwards to set their team up for a big victory. Other standout players were Ashley Saylor and Dakota Marsh, who fought hard all day for the undermanned Raiders. It's round seven of the reserve grade shield here at Hanson Reserve and the Panthers have just defeated the Henley Raiders 72 points to 10. I'm joined by uh, Panthers player David Brennan. You must be happy with the win? Uh, pretty good, eh? It was a nice win after a tough game against Central last week. Come out, the boys stuck to it, went pretty well. What was the key to the win, do you think? Stick, play up the middle and then you, uh, earn the right to go wide. How would you rate your game? You, you had your head uh, in a, quite a few tries there at W half. Uh, average, mate, without the ball, boys running off you the way they do, it makes my job easy. Exactly, must be life. All those big forwards put in a big performance again today. Yeah, really good. That makes life so much easier when you got them boys. Who, who do you think was your best teammate today? Oh, I reckon it was a good team effort. A couple of forwards going up. Young Ezra taking them out wide. Good all-round team effort. Is there anything you can improve on before you go with the Eels next week? Cool. Right. Get the training, work on the structure. Uh, there's a lot to work on. Still nowhere near what we should be. All right, thank you very much. Cheers. The ladder after round seven sees no change in position, with the Roosters still on top of the ISC Cup. And the reserve grade shield ladder still sees Tigers on top, but the Panthers jump into second spot. This weekend is round eight of the ISC Cup and reserve grade shield on Saturday night and Sunday afternoon at Hanson Reserve. In the SGRL, round six will be played at Port Oval in Port Perry. For more information and all the fixtures and results, check out our website www.sarugbyleague.com.au or find us on Facebook. I'm Thomas Luke and this has been the Fresh 927 NRL SA Weekly Recap. See you at the games.